Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing how you can install the Raspberry Pi OS desktop on top of RetroPie. So if you have like a RetroPie SD card USB stick that you have all of your ROMs and all that stuff already on there, but you want a Raspberry Pi OS one, but you don't have another SD card, well, this tutorial is for you. So um, it's actually not that hard. This, this isn't that long of a tutorial. Um, I don't have any ROMs yet, but I will be adding them, but it doesn't matter. If you have ROMs on, it's the same process. So, first of all, um, what you need, you need to have a keyboard for this. Um, so on your keyboard, press F4, F4. And then, and then you, you need to type this script. This will be in the description, like always. sudo retropie-setup. Um, RetroPy setup sh. That's what you need to type in the terminal, as you see on the screen right now. Once you're done typing that, hit enter. And as you see, you get to the screen. And you, what you need to do is you need to go down to configuration and tools. And then you need to go down right here where it says Raspbian tools. Hit enter. For me, it's number two. Install Pixel Desktop Environment. Hit Enter. And it says, are you sure? Yes. And now this will take a while. It's just going to start installing Raspberry Pi OS Desktop for us. So now you just have to wait for it. Okay, so in the middle of your setup, you're going to get a screen like this. All you have to do is hit OK, Enter. And it's just going to continue to install. This does take, a, it takes about like 20 minutes for me or something. So... You can just um, take a break. So, as you see now, it says Pixel Desktop LXDE is installed. So that's what we want to see. So that's so now it's good. So we just go OK and cancel back exit. And what you want to do here is sudo reboot. That's all you need to type. sudo reboot and hit enter, and it's going to reboot your device. Okay, so I rebooted, and as you see now, not only does it say RetroPie, it says Ports too. So now, if I get my controller, and if I go into Ports, right here it says Desktop. So I just click on, I just open that up with my controller, and it says Launching LXDE. As you see. This is the Raspberry Pi OS um, screen. We have Chromium, like always. I'm just going to go, I'm going to change the background. I'm just going to do some setup, show you what I do when I get a new version like of Raspberry Pi OS. I like to set the bottom, and I like it um, solid color. I like to blend in like that. I think it looks nice. And an app you should always have on Raspberry Pi OS, which I think is the best app for Raspberry Pi, is PyKiss. Which I've done a review on, which is my favorite app for the Raspberry Pi. I'm not lying, it is the best one. So you just all you gotta do, copy that command, open up a terminal. As you see, there's a little RetroPie logo there. Paste enter and now it's installing PyKiss for me okay so now if I go right here system tools I have PyKiss which is actually really useful because there's tons of games on here so I can install these games and have games um, standalone games Plus my emulators with RetroPie all in one device. I mean, it, it's a really good setup, actually. I would definitely recommend it. So you can go through and install all of these games that you want to install. Um, another thing that I think is important to have on Raspberry Pi OS is um, Gparted. To edit your partitions and stuff. Ugh, why did I type it like that? It's sudo opt install Gparted. Let me just put a space there. sudo apt install gparted enter. Hit Y. 
and another thing why that's installing I'm going to show um I like um panel settings panel applets and then I go add and I add the CPU temperature monitor then it starts showing my CPU temperature right here as you see it says 47 and then you can go through these um things and add whatever ones I'm going to add um so I can add any of these that I want actually as you see it's done now so if I go system tools g parted and the password is Raspberry, like normal Raspberry Pi OS. See, as I open up, I'm on a 14 gig SD card, and um, I'm using three gigabytes of it right now. Yep. Um, another thing that I use a lot is um, simple screen recorder. It's sometimes I record my screen with it. But I'm not doing that today because I don't have a way to use a microphone with it. Why do I keep on typing this? Huh? It's sudo apt install simple screen recorder, not sudo simple screen recorder. Hit enter. And on this, it automatically starts installing it. You don't have to hit Y or anything. I don't know the reason, but... Okay, it's already done. Go sound and video simple screen recorder. As you see, I can record my um, screen like this now. Yeah, so um, when you want to go back to um, RetroPie, all you need to do is emulation station. It's emulation station, hit enter. And as you see, it, it's back in um, RetroPie. So, um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you like, I hope you like this video and I hope you subscribe.